To demo the Pi as a speed controller, I've set the CNC machine up to drill two pockets and a piece of aspen using a Dremel multipurpose eighth inch bit. The speed control program was written in C and uses the wiring Pi library. It's been preloaded with a target speed of 5000 RPM. I just launched the Pi controller program and the scope shows the PWM signal being applied to the DC controller. Now I'll start the G-code to the CNC machine. It will in turn energize the spindle's power supply. You can see the Pi sitting between the laptop and the CNC machine. The breakout board atop consists of three LEDs and a handful of passive components. Now let's watch and listen as the CNC machine makes these first few pocket cuts. Here's a closer look at the breakout board. The LED farthest from you is an underspeed indicator, while the one closest to you is an overspeed indicator. And finally, when the middle one is lit, you're within 100 RPM of target value. This is typical of what you would see via the Pi's putty session while the controller is running. It reports current RPM, sp speed change since last measurement, and current PWM value. Remember, middle LED on is good, back LED is under speed, front LED is over speed. Back to the LED speed indicators. And now let's watch the PWM signal. This is a 5 kilohertz signal where the positive side of the pulse uh, represents the motor on. The longer that pulse is high, the more power that's being applied to the motor. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
here's a view of the opti infrared optical sensor that the Pi is using to measure the spindle's RPM with. If it looks like it's mounted at an angle, it's because it is. I found by monitoring the, its output with the scope that this produced the cleanest output. While it's not readily apparent in this view, there's a piece of white tape taped to the top of the spindle's fan. That white strip provides the optical sensor the reflector it needs to generate a clean interrupt back to the pie so that it can measure the time it takes the spindle to make 10 revolutions. Once armed with that information, the pie can calculate the spindle speed. After completing the two pocket cuts, the G-code tells the CNC machine to spiral drill holes for quarter twenty screws in the middle of each of these pockets. You're hearing the machine beginning the first of these holes now. Watch the speed LEDs as the spindle hits solid wood.
At this point the G-code has completed all the drilling operations and so will now shut down the spindle. Again, watch the speed indicators. Once the Pi senses that the motor isn't moving, it causes both all three LEDs to blink. And here's a close-up of the finished part.